This episode of the Cub Master Minute is the second part of a two-part series discussing our 2021 membership renewal process. In part one, we discuss the changes to our dues and member benefits. And in this episode, we'll walk through how to complete the three steps in the membership renewal process, paying dues, completing a health and medical form, and confirming your membership intentions. Hi everybody, Mr. Maloney here with a new episode of the Cup Master Minute, presented by PAC 457 in Zelenople, Pennsylvania. And in this episode, we're talking about how to renew your PAC membership for the 2020-2021 PAC year. We've got a lot to cover, so let's jump in. We've simplified the membership renewal process this year to three steps. Pay your annual dues, complete a new health and medical form, and let us know your scouts' intentions to continue in the program. Now, if one or more of your scouts does not want to continue in the program this year, you only need to complete step three. Skip to this time code to learn more about this step. Let me walk you through the process. Step one, pay your dues. Our dues and member benefits are changing this year, so make sure you watch the last Cub Master Minute to learn more. Links down in the description. When you're ready to pay your dues, head on over to the PAC web store. You can get there by clicking the link in your member registration uh, email from the store link on the PAC website, that's cubscoutpac457.org, or by just going to dues.cubscoutpac457.org. You can choose to pay via cash, cr uh, check, or credit card, but you must purchase your dues on the website for record keeping purposes. Once you're on the site, you'll be asked to select whether you're a new or existing member. Select existing member. You'll then be asked to enter your scout's BSA ID number, which, will, which can be found on the top of your renewal email. Or if you can't find it, contact me. This will help to track whose dues are being paid. Now, if you're registering multiple scouts, be sure to enter each scout's BSA ID number separated by a comma. And don't forget to update the quanti registration quantity uh, to match the number of scouts that you're renewing. You'll then have the option to add on a Boy's Life subscription or to save yourself a trip to the scout store and have the pack pick up your scout's handbook for the year. Just select the option that applies to you. And once you've entered all of this information, click Add to Cart. If you need any new Class B uniform gear, head back to the store and add these products to your cart so you can check out once. When you've added all of these products and you're ready to check out, head to your cart and start the checkout process. If you want to pay by cash or check, select the check option during checkout. Now remember, we believe that every youth should be able to participate in the Cub Scouting program. Please contact Mr. Groby or myself if your scout would like to continue in the pack, but you're unable to cover the costs of membership. Moving on. Step two, complete your health and medical form. The second step in the membership renewal process is to complete an updated health and medical form. Now our leaders work hard to keep our scouts and other participants safe during our events, but sometimes injuries happen. Scouts are required to complete an annual health and medical form every year so that our leaders have the information and authorization that we need to address any health issues that may arise. To complete the form, download a blank health form from the BSA website. There's a link in the renewal email and in the description. You have to complete all sections of the form and we highly recommend completing the form electronically, typing your answers in, so that it's legible. Now remember to sign the form on page one and page three if you're authorizing our leaders to administer any medication. You may have to print the form to be able to sign it. 
You will also need to scan or photocopy your insurance card, see page two for instructions, to submit that with your health form. Health and medical forms expire annually, so you must complete the form even if you've completed one in the past. You'll be submitting your health and medical forms in step three. Speaking of step three, step three is to confirm your membership intentions and submit your health forms. The final step in this process is to confirm your membership intentions. You should do this if your scout is continuing in the, in the program or if your scout does not want to continue in the program. Here's what you need to know. Click the link in the renewal email or in the description below to access the Google form. Here you'll be asked whether your scout plans on continuing in the pack this year. If you have multiple scouts and some uh, will not be continuing and, and some will be continuing, make sure you select the uh, second option. Now walk through the questions in the survey. You'll be asked to uh, enter the BSA ID numbers for the scouts uh, for whom the uh, answer applies. If your scout is not continuing in the program, we'll ask you a few short exit interview questions to help us improve uh, the pack. Now, if your scout is continuing in the program, we'll ask you how you wanna submit your uh, health and medical forms. You can choose from submitting it electronically and upload your um, electronic signed copy of your health form um, and your insurance card. If you prefer not to submit your form electronically, you can select an option to hand in the forms to a leader in an upcoming in-person DEN or PAC meeting, or uh, have me reach out to provide you mailing instructions uh, to submit your form that way. Once you've completed all three steps, or step three if your scout isn't continuing in the program, you'll receive a confirmation email indicating your membership renewal is complete for the 2020-2021 PAC year. And that's it. As always, please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the registration process or any of the changes in our annual dues. And we'll see you in the next episode of the Cubmaster Minute. Until then, stay safe and stay scouting.